Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you're back! Huh? And you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you, too! What a pleasant surprise. I assume you'll be joining us for the game, then? Lenny, Farina! Paimon didn't know you were playing, too! Are you also members of the Tabletop Troop? Hmm, I'm more of a casual member, if anything. I haven't taken part in many formal club activities. Lynette Fremenet and I play something similar at the Hotel Bouffe Tete sometimes, but I'm usually the GM. Still, I'm sure it'll be fun being a player for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm not a member of the club at all. Cloran simply woke me up first thing this morning, said there was a good script worth experiencing, and asked if I wanted in. If you're interested, I can give you a referral. That should give you a 40% discount on membership fees. I think I'll wait to see how this experience plays out first, especially when it comes to the quality of the script. If it's sufficiently fun, then I'll join. Do you participate in a lot of tabletop troop activities, Clarine? You could say that. She's actually one of the few senior game masters of the troop. Ah, right. I knew about that even when she was still my subordinate. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Really, just a small hobby of mine. Wow. Hyman's so used to seeing you be all upstanding and intimidating as the champion duelist. It's kind of hard to imagine you role playing with a bunch of friends. Surely you jest. I would never intentionally make things difficult for my players. I maintain a clear boundary between my professional and personal lives. The me you see at court represents the law and order of Fontaine. I put all personal feelings to the side, and grant a fair duel to all who seek to defend their honor. But in my personal life, I'm just an ordinary person. Someone who feels anger and sadness, just like everyone else. Well, you say that, but for all the time I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. I've seen you get angry, sure, but now I'm wondering whether you were actually mad or if it just looked that way from the outside. Uh, I was probably in work mode during those times. Is that so? Well, in any case, I just feel like even in your personal life, you don't get emotional very often. So you want to see me cry? That might be a little difficult. A show of anger, though. That might be something I could accomplish. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Ah, I'm back! Here, allow me to introduce you to the script manager, Mr. Florian. Pleasure to meet you all. Hello! Uh, wait, are you a champion duelist too, Mr. Florian? Oh, no. This is just the costume provided by the club. I occasionally play a few of the roles in my scripts. That sounds like a lot of work. It's nothing. It's the least we can do to give the players a more immersive experience. Anyway. Allow me to give you a brief introduction of the script. This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Um, Paimon's not super familiar with the history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. Is that a problem? Oh, no problem at all. I can give you a brief rundown. So, basically... Mara Shosei hunters were people who dedicated themselves to hunting monsters and protecting the city by using a special swordsmanship technique passed down over generations. Their story can be traced back to the ancient Remurian dynasty, as well as the first hunter, Cassiodor. But I'll leave the finer details for you to seek out and discover later. Mm-hmm. And I'll provide additional commentary as the story progresses. In that case... <clears throat> Brave hunters, are you ready to set out on an unknown adventure? Whoa, just one sentence and it's like we're in the story already! Aha, uh -huh. I see many a determined gaze before me. Very well, head over to this location and begin your heroic journey. So, as we follow the story, it leads us to specific scenes? 
Ooh, sounds pretty innovative. What does the message in the envelope say? It's the exact location of the scene, as well as the formal permission to use the venue. Huh, seems like they have everything prepared. Please check all your belongings, everyone, and make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Once you're ready, please follow me to the designated location. Sounds good. Hunter Squad, move out!